They'll be calling you a radical back to Fukushima. First off, I want everybody to know before I get going on this, that any of these guys have put out this ignorance media propaganda, at least they're opening the debate. I'm not against you, I'm with you. Just my thesis post-ignorance. Ignorance isn't, I mean, a lot of people that have ignorance on a lot of it, it's not their fault. You know, the media cover, we relied on that fourth pillar. Look, first off, the young man who put the video I talked about yesterday as the regurgitation of, there are no investigative journalists. There are no, they just take whatever spun and they just re-spin it. We do our work here. Our group, our small, we're investigative journalists. We dig in hardcore to the very grassroots of it. We have stuff that isn't out there in popular opinion, and I present it over and over. First off, I want to say this. He came to me and he says, on my squid video, well, we, they don't even know that this whole thousands and thousands of squids that committed suicide, these juvenile squids on Santa Cruz, they, they don't think that's real. You guys, please get the pictures and the videos to them. It's very, very real. The old marine biologist, who's, she's probably watching right now, she's retired, she says, Kevin, I walked that beach my whole life, red tide my ass, she says, I've never seen anything like it. Get him those pictures, get him. And he wants, he says, let's debate Google One. Here's what I propose. I'm gonna be in Southern California for the Diablo Canyon protest that I've organized on Balance Day, because this is about hate, this is about love. I love all you guys. He has a big audience, and thank you for opening this debate. We're finally having this and what the debate should be. I don't play, I got you. And if you don't think I don't play, I got you, Mike Lee right here, you guys all watch my video with Senator Mike Lee. And you know that I'm completely the opposite. And he's a fraud to the 10th power's house in foreclosure, sold, short sold to JP Morgan, while he's introducing a balanced budget amendment. I call him, do as I say, not as I do, Mike Lee. He's a total 100% fraud in everyone. Look up his balance sheet, just Google it and type it in. 1.1 million to the baddest. First sitting United States Senator in history to have his home foreclosure on why he's sitting. And that's legal tender in Utah. You can go after it. He gets a pass. Why? <laughs> well, I can get into that. But I didn't play I got you with him. I was very statesmanlike with him because I don't play that way. I'm transparent, 100% transparent. I let you in my room. I give you my phone number, my address. I let you into my hospital room. I do everything 100% transparent. I want everybody to know everything about me because I'm the opposite. I don't play that way. I prepped his aide that morning. I sit and talk to her and I says, I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna be the first question up and I'm gonna ask him about Fukushima. He had no clue what Fukushima even really was. He really didn't. She worked with him for a long time and had him ready and I was cordial and he, in the video, and his aide says, we will get back to you this week. That was on Friday. We know he was busy propping up his buddy, Ted Cruz on the Senate floor that very Monday. He never got back to me. So that's what we're up against. The young man, I will be at Avalon in the Central Valley. I'll be in Southern California the week thereof. Let's get together in a very cordial way and have a conversation. Look, the debate should be this, and I will present my data right here, right now. This data right here, this is the geoscience, the international team that was in Japan 2011. Now, the list of people, the University of Denmark, University of Arizona, several Japanese universities, multiple German university. This is a giant study. The radioisotypes 1,000 times above the background, 50 times and three times above the background, 25 miles out, 300 miles in the car. Their conclusion already into the current. That was in June of 2011. 1,000 times. I'm, I'm here to tell you. So the radiation background levels on this kid's Geiger counter thing, yeah, they're very real. That kid knows how to use a Geiger counter. He's been at this the whole time. You know, I know him. Multiple people. This. The reason that video has gone viral, that exact video has been done all over America. Here's the debate we should be having, not whether the background levels have risen dramatically, which we know they have. My other data, the United States RADNET and the government themselves, the EPA, RADNET, the Radiation Detecting Network, was funded and run by the United States because that's a monitoring system of radiation. They know that they've raised dramatically. They raised the so-called, the debate should be, can the human body handle the to the acute increase in radiation. Can we as humans handle that? That's the grotesque thing about this. Some probably can, but others can. So people get leukemia, they get birth defects, they get things and they die. I mean, that's, I have all my data that 40,000 Marines, including my father, who was human guinea pig in the Nevada test site from Pendleton, who were, look it up. It was my lawsuits who got all that video out there. My father was an incredible physical specimen, an incredible never died of leukemia. 
All, it's all of them did. The government data themselves, the Utah downwinder data, it exists. I have it all. The Chernobyl data of the radiation all over. I love it how here's the river, here's France, here's Germany. Germany will tell you it kills between 1,000 and 17,000 people a year to this day. France will say it never killed one person because they're all nuclear. I mean, let's talk about the facts and the details. So let's sit down and, and thank you for opening this debate. You have a big audience. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But as my one professor's friend says all the time, he says, Kevin, I pray for ignorance every day. And I says, yeah, don't work, does it? And he says, no, because ignorance really is bliss. Just because you don't understand, and I understand that you don't know that the squids that came up on there are very real, the sea lions that are all dying, very real, the two garfish, very real. All this death and sea creatures, the sardine catch being lowest in history, the salmon catch lowest in history, the burns on the herring, all of it, all of it post Fukushima, it's all very real, very, very real data. You know, so we could sit down and have a nice cordial conversation. You know, it's just like the Million Mass Man March when I was invited to come to that, you know, way back and I helped organize and I helped, you know, and you can hear my speech when I'm standing there and you can hear some guy say, what about aliens? Because they obviously don't, they think Fukushima because they've been so postured and groomed, they're thinking, oh, it's some kind of science fiction and fairy tale land. And I awoke a sleeping giant. I really did wake a sleeping giant. Anonymous all over the world and everybody who associates themselves with that incredible movement, they're going, oh, 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 they're having epiphany moments. And they're going, oh my God, yeah. This is not science fiction. This is this is three full core meltdowns. Well, really, it's seven, and I can get into that. You know, just because it hasn't been reported and it hasn't been covered up, it has been reported. Just because you've been postured and groomed and, and ignorance, thus my movement is post ignorance. I'm not against any of you. I'm not against the hardcore person who comes against me in the most hardcore dramatic way. I mean, the emails that I've been under, under attack. If you know what I put up with while in critical condition, I got leukemia seven months after Fukushima. I mean, dramatically hardcore, and trust me, the medical associate, you know, the, me the medical industry, they're not going to do anything for you. They, you know, they put me in there, chemo the bejesus out of me, tore my body apart, whatever they want. They just, now, you know, they just, they don't even want to talk to me. They don't want nothing to do with me, you know. Eat up your money, freaking do whatever they do to you, you know. So much of my own militants save my own life. These things attack. So the debate should be, see, can we handle the radiation? And how do we handle the radiation? Because this is liable. There is so much liability here because, look, by lying and covering up, black and yellow journalistic whores, I call them, you've not given the people the ability by the transparency of the truth to take precautions. There are lots of precautions. Not eating an iodine pill, changing their diets, changing their children's diets. You know, fresh fruit, vegetables, vitamin D, you know, from potassium, for bananas, from carrot juice. There are lots of things we can do, but we have not been aware because that's liable. That's malice. That is malice in legal circles just because we've had everything. And I've tried to get attorneys involved. In my case, over there, you know, they're a bunch of pussy pieces of dog shit, you know. They can all rot in hell with the rest of them. But when you, ignorance is one thing. You don't know, you don't know. And, you know, you come out. But when you report, you do know, like Sanjay Gupta, a practicing neurosurgeon, obviously does know, that's liable. These people should be in prison. They need to be sued. That is malice by definition. You know, where is the liability? Where are the attorneys? Where is everybody? You know, wow, you know, the USS Reagan Center, and those people really do. One of them's in the hospital, was, was in with me. You know, the hospitals, they cover their ass. The scientists cover their ass because they're all trying to protect their wealth. They think they're on the winning team when in the reality of the matter is they're all committing crimes against humanity. There is such grotesque mouth. Now, for you to report and say, all oh, these scientists say, no, my scientists, this is the data for real. This is the data from the Nevada test site. This is the data from Chernobyl. This is the data from Fukushima. This is the list of freaking scientists. Miss Vargas just recently went over there, ABC News. They went down there real quickly, pulled it right up a thousand times. Right there, boom, just like that over and over and over. So when you quote this idiot from Stony Brook, who's an idiot, he has no, he's not a scientist, he has no background, he doesn't even know, I mean, he just, and you just regurgitate a story, you pick up on the wire from the LA Times, from the New York Times blog, from whatever, and it just gets spun in regurgitation. Remember this, remember this. You go back to 1918, this exact same thing happened all over California. The influential breakout, all over America. 
There was a serious, serious cover-up the same style, the same way. You regurgitate that. Yeah, ignorance isn't an excuse, not with me, but I understand it. I do. I'm not against you. I'm your friend, and you have a big audience, all you guys. I don't want you to get sick and die. I surely don't want your children. I love your children. Even the people that sent me emails, Kevin, ain't you dead yet? I hope you die. I mean, I under seriously. I love my enemies. I honestly love my enemies. I really do. That's the whole Iraq thesis. We go carpet bomb at people in Iraq who never did anything to us, and these people put a yellow sticker on their car and drive around. I used to go crazy about it. Fuck, take your yellow sticker and fucking shove it up your ass. You know, in the name of Jesus, really? Love them, for they know not what they do. That's the people killing him. Thou shalt not kill. I mean, to participate in this, I equate it just similar to the mass murder of the Iraq, which we use nuclear white phosphorus on those people. I, I equate it. It's just like Aaron Swartz's tragic death. Pat Tillman's murder by his own people. Who put that rope up there and wrapped it around Aaron Swartz's neck? You and I. Who killed with that bullet in the head to Pat Tillman? You and I. Who killed Michael Hastings? You and I. Doesn't matter who freaking strung it out. They, we painted them into the corner when all they did was tell the truth. They were the pure and the spirituality of this time. No different than Uncle Tom when that guy beat him to death, you know, in her book, you know. These are real figures. These aren't fictional figures. These are real men. Because we didn't stand up and fight in the aggregate as a people for the truth. We regurgitated stories. That's all we did. We, did. we do investigative journalists, our small army. I have my whole life. I've ate, slept, drank this. Now I literally sleep this. You know, and I'm not against you. I mean, this debate's being open. I love you guys. I really love you. And I don't play I got you. You know, I don't surprise and jump. Hey, here's what I have. This is what I have. I, I lay out my data. The government themselves will tell you that the background radiation all low California. And let me, I want this to be very clear. It's no different if you live in Oregon, Washington, or California, or Vancouver, Canada, than if you live in New York City, Washington, D.C., Texas, Florida, there's no difference. It enters the food chain, and it does take a very short period of time, and it's everywhere in everything. There's no hiding around the globe. So to just think that we're going to evacuate is, is absurd. It's the same levels. It mixes into the food chain very quickly, into the atmosphere very quickly. So I'll be there for Megan Rice's Senate scene in Knoxville, Tennessee. You know, the 26th. I need a ride from the airport on the 26th. I'll list the details, you know, to near the courtroom where I'm going to be staying. You know, I love Megan Rice. I'd gladly give my life to cure this planet of nuclearism. Diablo Canyon. I'll be down there the week of the 14th. We're going to set up on the, Avalon, on the pier down there. And we'll evolve from there. This is about love. We're not against any of you people, even the hardcore, even the NSA, even the repressors, even the people that killed Aaron Swartz. Do I forgive you? How can I forgive you? I dub the unforgiven is what I do. You label me a... We didn't stand up for Aaron Swartz as a people. We didn't stand up for Pat Tillman. I cried so hard that day that I saw that video, and I didn't know the story that Pat Tillman was murdered at execution style by his own people, and his mom, his beautiful mom, had to dig it out. And it was widely reported all over. She made the rounds, and we as a people didn't care. I care. I really do care. You know, probably because I watched my father go down that way. You know, I love all of you people. I really do. I, I'm on your team. The people that actually killed him and back that prosecutor who did that to Aaron Swartz, that evil fucker, these prosecutors did that to Megan Ryan, they're devils. You know they're devils, but we didn't stand up, we didn't rise up as a people against them. You know, okay, if that's the case, all oh, these laws, they broke the laws, you know. We're coming up on Dr. King's, and the Million Mass Man route was rattled, and Dr. King wasn't just about race. Dr. King was about human rights, the whole movement. You know, as our movements get co-opted, the movements were co-opted then, just like the movements been co-opted now. There's no doubt in my mind that the whole Fox News tribe, the right, so-called right-wing, kidnapped the Republican Party. They're all paid co-ops. There's no doubt. 
Glenn Beck, Sean Hanley, Russ Limbaugh, Laura Ingram, you know, all of them are paid co-ops to keep the militarized and industrialized complex and the nuclear thesis going. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind. There's no doubt in my mind. You and I did it because we didn't stand up. The tale was told to Pat Tillman. I think the story of Pat Tillman and Aaron Schwartz and Michael Hastings for that matter, I think are the thumbprint events of this entire culture that will be writ written about and wrote about. And there's only one thing that trumps even all that. 311.11 is, I call it popism. It's still popism. Neo, epic, ultra competitive popism with ignorance gone amok. It died that day. You and I killed all three of them. We did, because we didn't stand up for them because Rosa Park got on the bus. That was against the law, you know that. Did Michael Hastings break the law? I don't think so. Did Aaron Schwartz break the law? Absolutely not. Gonna give a young, brilliant, 